there anything in here? Uh, we can equip, uh, uh, equipment. Yes, uh, equip equipment. I imagine that's the point. Uh, I mean, like, talismans and stuff. I wonder if there's any worthwhile talismans in here that we could equip right now that I got during the event. We might, because I did just put an upgrade into one of, I think it was like the minor talismans. <laughs> that would give me a huge boost in health. Because to be honest, the health seems to be the most important thing for me. It usually comes down to whoever can last out the longest with my battles. I don't really want to lower my attack power though either, or attack rating, whatever it was. Let me move some of this stuff down here that I know I'm not going to use right away, so I can just sort of situate the stuff. It'd probably help me out a bit better. I might switch out to swords at some point. I don't know. Maybe like sword and claw or something. I'm really not particularly good at mi mixing and matching like stuff like this. So I have no idea if shotgun slash fist stuff is going to last me throughout the whole game. So I might end up having to switch some stuff out. Because from what I've been hearing is, and what I've seen, is Blue Mountain, the next area, the third area of the game, is where really where you start to get your ass kicked if you're not uh, making a point to have a good strategy with your attacks and stuff like that. What I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to have shotgun as my primary attack force like to do the most damage in and then have like my uh, my fist abilities be like passive healing But I'm not getting my I'm not getting enough heal for that to be uh, particularly good for me. Probably because I've been uh, not paying attention to my fist abilities at all until this pretty much point in the game. And I think that's about it. See how many, like, cans and potion looking items that I have? Those are all consumable items, like barrier items and healing items and stuff like that. Alright, time to head back into this amusement park of nightmares. Let's get rid of the people behind me first. <laughs> yes, there is a person here. I do remember there being a person near a car here. And they do have missions. Finally. Are you with Grace and Security? I've been trying to get a hold. No. You wouldn't happen to have a helicopter, would you? Of course not. This is private property. 
But I won't belabor the fact. I'm not particularly attached to it. Who in their right mind would want an abandoned amusement park on a godforsaken island in the Atlantic? Aside from Nathaniel Winter, of course. Yeah, that Nathaniel Winter. Millionaire. Mogul. Also, as it turns out, theme park tycoon. Nathaniel brought me up here during construction. And even then, there were accidents. Workers falling to their deaths. Equipment malfunctioning as soon as it was turned on. Strange whispers at night, according to the crew, coming from the rides themselves. But he was a stubborn son of a bitch, my father. The park opened against all odds right on schedule. Whole island showed up for the ribbon cutting. But the accidents continued. A roller coaster derailed, killing a family of three. A ten-year-old kid was found, dismembered, behind the cotton candy stand. An employee in a chipmunk costume went berserk, stabbing two teenagers in the eye. By 1980, Nathaniel was forced to shut it all down. There were investigations. It was all over the papers. So he closed up shop. Stayed behind while my mother and I went back to Boston. Never saw the son of a bitch again. I remember Nathaniel telling me once, after the bumper cars crushed one of the engineers, that this was all par for the course. Great deeds require great sacrifice, he said. Next time I saw my father, he was in a casket. He outlived everyone and left me nothing of his fortune. Except... Uh, I don't want his money. And I didn't ask for the part, neither. All I want is answers. You can say a lot about Nathaniel Winter, but he never made a bad investment or a rash decision. So why in God's name did he build this park? I've heard them. At night. The rides? They do whisper. Interesting. Looks like I think it's time to head back into the park. Remember that the park has this odd distortion effect all over it for some reason. I'm not sure why. Here we are, the main entrance. We've obviously been here before, so we pretty much have a good idea of where everything is. The uh, Octotron. The Octotron is this thing over here, I think. Yeah, that's where the marker's pointing. Blue glass. Well, at least I know where that is. I have red glass from the last time I was here. I don't know what they're used for, though. go wrong with this this is a lot of psycho carnies everywhere no Let's try that again. Might have to use one of these energy drinks. Because otherwise I might have a problem completing this. 
Because I was literally circled and just ravaged. I think somebody else is here. Yeah, they are. So maybe they'll help me out. Just some sort of barrier technique. Circle, and I'm already dead, right? If she can hold out if, until I can get there, then I could probably still complete it. I just need to hurry up. That's the way to the parking lot. Come on, hurry up. going. She seems to be using a form of sword and some sort of magic, I think. Yeah, well, we survived that. Now I have to go to the sideshow alley. Disable the statue. You mean the statue shooting fire everywhere? Whoops, didn't mean for that to happen. Okay, that's not fair, it's just shooting me. It's shooting me as soon as I get up. <laughs> Go to the roller coaster. Ride the roller coaster. Yeah, nothing can go wrong with this. Obviously. Especially since it's known to derail.
That totally wasn't creepy or anything. Seems like there's an odd guy here at the roller coaster, though. Go to Lover's Lake. Tier 5 of 7, so we are getting towards. Uh oh. Don't want to run into any more enemies. I see one sitting right there. D destroy the mud golem. Where is it? I don't see it. That's kind of a problem. Yeah, here we go. The environment is damaging me. Well, it's giving me a slowdown effect, but it's not doing anything else. I think. Alright. This is actually going by pretty fast. Um, okay. Something's attacking me. Ah, oh, great, I can't get up here. Ah oh, crap, the mud golems come back. Ow. <laughs> Why is there no way out of here? dead again. Is there a way over there? I think there might be. That doesn't look like as ste steep as an edge. No? Can't? Okay. Perhaps over here? Yes, she found a way up. Examine the Ferris wheel. That's nice. Oh, it's that guy. Whoa. I got thrown up back pretty far that time. It just threw me back. Wouldn't let me go near it. Okay, I think it's happening to her now. I guess that's supposed to happen or something. <laughs> Yeah, it just keeps on throwing you away. Okay, this is actually the last tier, so I'm assuming the bumper cars is the last thing we're gonna have to do. Uh, 
There must be something we have to do with this Ferris wheel later, because she's talking about a solo instance. And it's not letting us do anything right now, so it must be another mission or something she's thinking of. Ah, shoot, she just aggroed a zombie. I'll just let her go on ahead. I'll take care of this one. This is really the only game that I've needed, like, have somebody help me do some of the missions with. I might be able to do this one by myself, past the, uh, Octotron, but it's very much more efficient to do it with at least one other person. Okay. <laughs> ah, that's probably not a good thing. Bumper cars are everywhere. Let's get out of the way. There we go. Oh, holy crap, what is that? Destroy the angry clown. That really is an angry clown. It's not even a clown, it's like some guy wearing a cloth over his head. And it's finished. Man. And I believe he has... I believe he has... another red mission and an investigation mission after this. So we'll go ahead and hit those up. Yeah, it's so weird to go from being in there and to back out here where it's not all distorted. Um... Okay. Island Park to be restored according to according to my original plans? What fucking plans, Dad? Uh, how did it go? I don't tell me. I'm not blind or deaf. I don't believe it's a coincidence those things are drawn to the rides. The fog came the day we got here. I was supposed to fly in, but the airport was closed. So we drove all the way up from Portland. Less than an hour later, it rolled in like an avalanche. Wahid here decided to stay in the car. I headed for the highest place I could find. I didn't think of it at the time. What with those animals at my feet. But it's weird that the wheel's still working after all this time. I can't imagine the power's still on. At least not the electrical power. But that's not what this place runs on, is it? He stayed behind, my father, Nathaniel Winter, when everyone else left. And not because he didn't have anything else. He had his empire, his money, my mother. He had me. But this is the only thing he wanted. It kept him alive for over a century. It gave him power. I'm still not convinced he's not here. Somewhere, feeding on the ghosts of lost children like some kind of bogeyman. 
What the hell are you looking at? This is private property, you know. Interesting. Perhaps that guy's father is the man we saw by the Ferris wheel and on the roller coaster. Close the gate, man. <laughs> All right, time to get to the bottom of this, I guess. We have to head straight to the Ferris wheel. Ride the Ferris wheel. <laughs> okay. Solo instance. So yeah, she was right. There is one here. She was just thinking of the wrong mission, though. Okay. Here, whispers and children laughing. That's not a good sign already. Okay, got a little bit of a boost for an hour. Let's go ahead and make the most of it. Spectral Enslaver. I locked my abilities. I hate it. That's like the number one thing I hate is when they do that. Where they lock me up and I can't do anything for a couple seconds. over there when I have to kill the enemies in the area before I can do anything with it. Free the laughter of children. Hmm. Go ahead and destroy all the other two enemies. There we go. 